Right, Mitchell, VCE, don't get nervous. I'm more nervous for this. Hip number one, Oliver Anthony of Essendon. Number two, Ranveer Gurger of Box Hill. Number three, Mark Hipworth, independent. Number four, Dane Gray, unattached. Number five, Benji Miles, unattached. Number six, Philip Turville, unattached. Number seven, Tyler Murphy, Diamond Valley. Number eight, Andrew Evans of Collingwood. Number nine, Brady Ryan, unattached. Number 10, Russell Jenkins, Bella, uh, Benigo University. Number 11, Josiah Backer of Doncaster. Number 12, Andrew Turva, Mornington Peninsula. Number 13, uh, Mikhail Susan of Glen Huntley. Number 14, Oliver Burns of WTN. WTN. You'll come back to me. I can't remember it for some reason. Williamstown, thank you. Number 15, Anthony Quay of Melbourne University. Number 16, Eugene Nemesi of Collingwood. And number 17, rounding it out here, Glen Huntley's Will Orchard. Thank you, gentlemen. On your marks. And around 4.40 is the time that the athletes will be aiming for today. Somewhere around that five-minute mark for the seed time. So the spread will be of about 100 to 150 metres by the time they finish. But right now, they're about 30 metres spread across the track. It's a bit hard to see who is leaning the way, but they will be heading for times of about 76 seconds per lap. And we'll get a bit more of a read as they round the bend. So it is Dane Gray unattached in the blue singlet and actually Ranveer Gurger. Ranveer Gurger, he was in this box earlier today. He was having he a chat. 440, was it? Yeah. That'd be a good run for him that, with a PB of 447. So Ranveer clearly been doing some work over the season and confident in getting a PB tonight and he's not leaving anything to chance. Might have been a bit slow for him at the start as he goes through that first lap in about 68 seconds. So he's... Almost on pace. He will, as he said, he will need to take this race and make it his own if he is going to get under that 440 mark. The rest of the athletes are trailing in quite a long train. Not quite a road train, one of those longer cargo <laughs> trains. He's got the cargo train. I think right <laughs> one now. One of those annoying <laughs> trains yeah. that you're just sitting, and you're like, hang on, shouldn't you be in the country, Victoria? Yeah. And he's Hold through on. Metro <laughs> Melbourne, and it's like, how many you carriages just went past? <laughs> anyway, one of them is on the track about... <laughs> 16 athletes spread right in the middle. Ranveer Gurger is the carriage that has broken away from the front as he goes through the 600-metre mark. Yeah, Rampage Gurger, we might as well call him right now because he <laughs> is away from the rest of the carriage. So right now, Ranveer Gurger, you're right, Mick. He had to try and make this race his own in order to try and break that 440. That's exactly where his head's at right now. So the rest of this field not too far behind. It is still going to be Dane Gray who's going to try and peg them back as we see a few boys turn their heads around at the back of that pack. Watch out for Philip Turville in the purple singlet there. So Turville at the back of this pack might be able to make a few moves as he gets around the outside on the second biggest bend in Melbourne. So Ranvi yeah. Gurja, they've started to peg him back a little bit here, Mick. So he's only got about 5, 10 metres now ahead of the rest of this pack. Okay, that's still going to be Dane Gray, who's done a lot of the work to try and get the rest of these boys right up to Gurja. So the challenge for Ranvi Gurja right now is going to be if he gets past, he needs to stay in control and stay attached to this pack because it looks like it's going to be Dane Gray who's going to read the rest of this pack right past Ranveer Gurja. And Gurja, you just need to be a little bit tough here. And all you need to be is tough for a small period of time and it's going to pay off dividends towards the end of it. But Dane Gray, he's going to move the rest of this pack around Ranveer Gurja. And these boys now are really starting to get themselves moving, Mick. Absolutely. It might not be the worst thing for Ranveer. He could sit in in the pack there. He just rests for a little bit, although the front train or the... Uh, yeah, they've separated into two trains, yeah. haven't they now? Two metro trains rather yeah. than big cargo trains or road trains, as we'd call them. Well, as I mentioned earlier, Turville's at the back of that pack, and now he's made his way towards the front. So he's going to be chasing down Dane Gray out in front. Turville there on the outside in the purple. We have another Don't unattached Don't mind that uh, purple singlet of Turville as well. A bit yeah. of swagger on track. It's not from the swagger of Knox, just the yeah. swagger just of the Turville swagger himself. Of Turville. With the, the swagger of Turville with that purple singlet. Love it. 
So Turville right on the shoulder now of Gray. So we see the rest of these boys now. They're going to have to really get moving to make sure Turville doesn't get too far away because he just wants to get to the rail before the bend. And he's going to do exactly that. So Turville gets exactly what he wanted with 200 metres to go. He's going to try and stream away. But the rest of this pack is fierce, is strong, is hungry. How hungry are they? We're about to find out with 150 metres to go. We'll Turville need five metres ahead though, Mick. We'll need a close in about 40 seconds over the last 200 metres. Completely possible for the calibre of these athletes if they want to get under a 4.45. 20 seconds to close in his final 100 metres. Turville will get there. Gray will get there. Will the others get there? Yeah, well, it is going to be Turville. He's going to dip his head ahead of Gray. Now Huge PB. Two is Oliver Barnes. And then so too Benji, Benji Miles. Miles. Oliver Anthony as well, all getting PBs. Actually, the top eight, nine athletes in this race all going under that 4.45 mark and collecting themselves brand new, shiny PBs to round out the season at Milers Club. Huge. Maybe it is a home of PBs. Oh, Maybe it's not just a sharehouse of PBs. I'm <laughs>